Well, there you go, Roscoe, from the mouth of the Wonder Boy. He's got to win this moto. Paul Kingsley, five-second board is up. Riders are on the line. Throttles are pinned, waiting for that gate to drop, and the gate is down, Roscoe. Second 125 moto of the day. Coming into that tight left-hander, who's going to get that whole shot? Looks like Lange was approaching the corner in first. Yes, he's coming out of it in first place here, looking really good. Coming into that uh, wood side straightaway, the whoop section and the double jump has been a tough spot. Oh, Ross, look at all those riders bunching up there. That is a tough part of this track. Wow, Lange looks looser already. You know, he knows that he's got to win this moto, and Hamlin's pretty much got to break or finish fourth or farther back. He's got no pressure on him. All the pressure right now is on Sean Hamlin. He knows he's got to finish this moto fourth place or better, which is easy for him to do. The only problem is, is when you're out and racing it for a championship like this, this is when the rider starts to hear all the funny noises coming from the bike. You're wondering if this is right or that noise is right. You never can stop thinking about mechanical failure because that's about all that's going to that's going to take him out of the championship. Well, unbelievable straightaway up by the starting gate there. I cannot believe the speed that those riders are getting. Here we are with that battle with, uh, look at this, Hamlin on the outside. Does he have him? It looks like he has Hagseth. Oh, look at this, Ross. Darcy Lynch coming in. The rutting in this track is unbelievable. But Hagseth is holding back. He is not going to let Hamlin by. No, he certainly isn't. He's racing for valuable points, too, because he wants to finish in third. But Hamblin is not letting him get away. He's attacking, and all he needs is a fourth-place finish. But, you know, you ask, why doesn't he just hang back there and relax? A racer cannot hang back and relax. He's got to use his head, don't get me wrong, but he's got to go out and race. We're trackside with Darcy Land's father, Kim. Uh, Kim, you must be really proud of Darcy. I know the pressure's really on the whole family here for this 125 West Coast Championship. Yeah, I'm really proud of him. It's hard with all these Americans coming up now, but right now he's past his Canadian. I'm very proud of him. There you go, Ross. Kim Land's pretty proud of his uh, son right there, right now in first place. How about that uh, Sean Hamlin, though? He has passed Hagseth, and he's in second place, and it looks to me like he's pressuring for the lead. I think Sean Hamlin wants to take it all today, Ross. Well, I think he'd like to win both motos just to prove, hey, I won this championship because I'm the fastest guy on the track, whereas Lange has got no worries right now. If I was him, I'd almost slow down and uh, push uh, Hamlin a little bit and see if he'll make a mistake and fall off. Well, here we go, Ross. Uh, we got Brandon Proc Navy and Lena Lansky battling it out in that whoop section double jump. Let's see what happens to these. You know, I've been uh, pleasantly surprised with Proc Navy. He's been finishing in the top 10 in a lot of races this season. Slansky's been doing really well also. He's been working really hard this year. He's really put his nose to the grindstone. I know that last year he was upset with his last year's performance. He wants to prove that he's still got what it takes before he retires. Well, here we are back with another battle. Second 125. We've got Rickard and Upton. Oh, Upton with a nice inside line. But Rickard is not giving up. Coming into that big tabletop jump. Oh, they pull sideways. Great line, Ross. It's an awesome line there. Rickard Upton going hard out here. Rickard has done awesome this year. Year. He's come off a dismal season from last year and has really, really worked hard. I've personally worked with him, and uh, he has really been working hard this year, and his results have shown it. I mean, he's chasing down uh, third spot here in the 125 West Coast Series. Yeah, an excellent year for uh, boosting the confidence of uh, Lance Rickard. I'm impressed with uh, Donald Upton as well. We thought he was going to be a top rider, and he has, but Lance Rickard has been solid all season long, even in the 250 class. Well, the difference between these two guys is experience. Upton's got lots more experience than Rickard. Rickard, however, is a very very aggressive, tenacious rider. He wants to prove himself out here, and he's going to do that this year with a lot of hard work. Well, he really has his bike dialed in as well. That's very important. Here we are back with 929. That's Sean Hamlin on the Blackfoot Honda massaging his way, Roscoe, through this uh, Grunthal Manitoba track. Hamblin, as you say, Mark, is caressing his way around the track here. He's pushing the bike, but not near to its limit. He knows there's only a lap or two left, and he doesn't want to break that motorcycle. Well, Russell, we just have a report. This is Darcy Lange on his final approach with Sean Hamlin in second. Hamlin will win the championship if he doesn't go down. Lange coming into that uh, the Grunthal Manitoba finish line. Let's see how he finishes it off. Oh, Roscoe patented Lange with the heel clicker. Very nice finish. He takes the win, but Hamlin with a second place finish is going to take the overall championship. Look at that arm pump. He's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here you go. The three amigos. An unbelievable finish to an unbelievable West Coast swing. Brad, let's talk to you first. You had an excellent race there. Um, you got a great start. All three of you got a great start. But tell us what uh, your race was like and uh, what's it like to finish third in the 125 West. 
Well, it feels good, you know, considering I had a DNF and I was a ways back in the points, but, you know, I came into the day and I knew these guys would be riding with a bunch of adrenaline, you know, going for the, the championship. And, you know, I did what I had to do. I beat the guys that I had to beat and everything worked out. And I'm pretty sure that I ended up third overall in the points, so that's good for me. And, and uh, you know, now I can focus on the 250 and do what I have to do there. Yeah, I felt real good this race. Um, I got out front and I knew Hamlin wasn't going to push it too hard because he had the lead. And, uh, I don't know, I just can't say enough for Richmond Motorsport, Two Trick Kawasaki, those guys just got the bike working awesome this weekend. I don't know, but it felt good. Yeah, you know, I wanted this win overall-wise and championship. You know, I wanted to come in and uh, dominate. Darcy was riding really good, and uh, you can't take anything away from him. He's an awesome rider, and uh, I don't know, I just I was riding my own race and just kind of having fun, basically. And there you have it, Sean Hamblin takes the 125 Western Crown. Here's the top 20 finishers in the second 125 Moto from Grunthal. Okay, Sean, on behalf of the Canadian Motorsport Racing Club, I'm pleased to present you with the number one plate for the Western Championship of the Export A Canadian Motocross Championships. Congratulations. Right, way to go, Sean! Way to go, guys! 